Hey, it's Oktay again. Got a new deck finally. Um, called it God's Twilight. It's uh, basically Twilight, but with eight monsters that have Lord in their name. It's um, pretty inconsistent, but if you get Magical Merchant, then you're probably good. So, lots of monsters. You'll see. Okay. 3JD. Three of the new Time Lord. Uh, got these off eBay today. Very good. Um, you need to have 10 monsters in your grave to special summon him. And when he's brought out, you can bring out a level 10 or, or it's a level 8 or higher fairy type monster from your graveyard or your hand. And special summon it with its effects negated. And its attack is 4,000 attack points. So, really, really good. It's like a free. Two four thousand beat six just for having ten monsters in the grave, and that's once per turn also. So, really really good. Three of the other Time Lord, um, really easy to summon. Kind of like Cyber Dragon. If you don't control any other monsters, you can just normal summon him. Um, pretty much can defend you for a whole turn. Can do a little bit of damage if your opponent swarms synchros on you. Just bring them all back to his extra. It's really good. I used to play this in my final countdown deck for a little while and sometimes still do. So I got the first three weeks in a row with it. So it's really good. And it's a fairy. So I'm good with this also. Actually Christia, a lot of people know what it does. You need four fairies to bring it out. You get a fairy back from your graveyard to your hand once you play it. it dies, goes to the top. Light can get back with the Time Lord. Really good. Three merchants. This is your pretty much the main card of the deck. You're only playing four spells or traps cards in this deck, so really good. You're gonna mill all your monsters and play your beckoning light and get the setup. The chaos sorcerer. It's twilight, so I played this dude. Same deal with BLS. And same deal with Dark Room Dragon. Okay, and you light that cast run honest. We got Gores and our two Trigodias for our hand control. They're dark monsters. Good attack. Trigodia, good effect. Two Necros, the guys you want to mill. They're dark. Another guy you want to mill. Plague's better. Another dark. Another guy you want to mill. Glow Bulb, and he mills himself for a Synchro. Phantom of Chaos, really, really good. Um, he's dark, just normal summon him. You can copy the effect and attack of a monster once per turn, so really good for Christia. Play him after you swarm with the other guys so your opponent can't gores, drag, or battle figure you. Um, do JD to blow up the field, it's really good. Sengen. Pretty much, it's dark, pretty much for searching, most likely Magical Merchant. Two Card Trooper, Beat Stick, Mills, let's see, draw it. You gotta play two of these, it's really good. The Lights Horns, Lumina, Heroth, Lila, Arcus, Celestia. You gotta play at least one of each of those, that's how it always goes with Lights Horn. And another Lights Horns Shire. I play this just because I play Christia in this deck. It's another name, doesn't really matter, but it's a fairy, so that's what counts. So it's really good. I always play one of her when I'm using Christia. Card Destruction. Really good in this build. Um, if you're playing regular Lights Horn, do not play this. Only play this and Lights Horns with Merchant in them, because those decks are going to be running lots of monsters. So just. Play this, get rid of those crap monsters that you want to mill and stuff, and get good stuff. And last, three beckoning lights. When you're milling like almost all of your deck except for a few cards with the merchant, play this, you win. That's, that's pretty much it. You're gonna win. If you don't, then I don't know, you suck or something, but you'll win. Trust me. Okay. You pull it off. That's it. Um, side and extra are generic. 
and please buy this card on eBay. Thank you.